uh, the first day back after break. It felt like it took a while to get the yeah. energy back. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you saw that the right way. Yeah. yeah, I think, you know, they took a break, Easter break, which is good. It's very important. But it, li it was a little bit flat in the beginning, but then it, it picked up at the end, which is a good sign. You know, I think that's good where they where the, I can see been around teams that stayed flat and got worse as the, as the practice went on. But it, ours picked up and it was good. And uh, I, I like where we are. I really do. I think we got to have uh, a good week, though. We need to have a good day on Thursday and a good day Saturday. Uh, just offense, defense, both sides. Yeah, I think that defensively we're getting better. You know, I think they're they're understanding the scheme better. It's a multiple scheme. We do a lot of different things, and they're they're communicating better. Offensively, it's it's getting better, but it was a little sloppy today. So we got to clean up some of the details of each play. But you know, I, I, like I said, I, I really like the way they finish practice, and I think we're on the right track. You you told the team you see the defense getting better. It seemed like. Maybe stopping the run inside, you guys, the defense was doing some of that, some physical play in the yeah. secondary. When you say you see the defense getting better, what's popping? Yeah, I think that the run, I think the, the, the ability to stop the run is getting a little bit better um, from when it was, you know, four or five practices ago. Uh, I think the pass coverage is getting better. I think they're understanding what we're trying to do in coverage. So I, I, I think there's the pass rush is getting better. So I've seen that that improve. So I think uh, there's pretty much every area of the defense over the last two practices have gotten gotten better. It doesn't take much to see some of the potential you guys have at the skill positions yeah. here. But then you mentioned you know maybe some sloppiness with the offense. What when you clearly can see it, right? But obviously you have to execute it. What's that progress like for you guys when you have this potential on offense? Yeah, I think it's consistency, right? So sometimes it looks really good. And then today, you know, it was a little bit up and down, and I think we got to strive for a little bit more consistent execution. And if we do that, you know, I think we'll be all right. We, we have a lot of talent on offense, and um, we just need to be a little bit more consistent. Like we were four or five practices ago, the last couple, a little bit up and down. we gotta, we got to clean that up, and I think we will. I, I'm confident that we will, but just a little bit more consistency. You only have five left total in the spring. Yeah. Is it more about the execution right now, or are you trying to add some stuff as well? I think it's more... You know, I think it's still more about the team, the the chemistry of the team, the evaluation of the team, where everybody fits, you know, relative to each side of the ball and on special teams. Uh, it's it's about the, the leadership of the team, like still trying to develop the leadership of the team. And it's about us still understanding how we want to practice. Again, like I always say, it has nothing to do with what's gone on in the past. We have a strong belief in how we practice. And so just continuing to understand, moving from drill to drill, from situation to situation, how we practice, having your thinking cap on and being ready to go in every situation that we that comes up in practice is important. And I think we're getting better at understanding that. What's it like for you as, a, as an offensive-minded coach when you come in, you have a quarterback who's played, you have some of this potential with the skill guys, your understanding of, of what they do well and as you and your offensive coordinator kind of will, you know, you work toward... How can we use these guys best? Where are you in that progression? I think we're I think we're we're a lot farther than we were obviously when we started, yeah. right? We we have a very good idea of each guy's skill set. The guys that have been able to practice, we've had a couple guys that have been out with injuries, but the guys that have been able to practice, you know, we really have a much better understanding of each guy's skill set. Now it's up to us to put them in the right position. I think we're starting to do that to put them you know, where they should be. Should it be outside? Should it be in the slot? Should it be a left guard? Should it be a right guard? Should it be right tackle, left? You know, all those different things. You know, I think that's what, what we have to do a good job of over the last five practices, but I think we're on the right track. Uh, on the team going at Final Four, obviously. Can you use other program success as motivation? Absolutely, absolutely. You look at the hockey team and what Coach Brown has done here, um, obviously with the team itself, the way they play, you know, that was an unbelievable game, you know, to, to be able to hang in there and, and uh, grind it out like that in overtime over Quinnipiac, which won the national championship last year. You can point to that, that hockey team, even though it's a different sport, and, and the, the, the absolute resiliency of that team to stick with it in that game when they didn't probably play their best hockey game, they still won the game because of the resiliency that Coach Brown has brought to that team. So we point to that all the time. We point to the women's lacrosse team. Just an unbelievably successful team here um, that's been consistently successful. How did they do it, right? Different sport, I, I get that, but the culture of the team, the type of people that, that the coach has brought in there, uh, Keisha, she's done an unbelievable job, and, and, and they've got a really good team. So, yeah, you can definitely use a lot of sports you know, as, as examples, the winning, the winning teams of what they're doing to get it done. You obviously knew Boston College, but you didn't know it like you do now that you're working here. Yep. Where, just in the progress of... 
what we are, what we can be, yeah. where we need to get better. What's that been like for you over just these last couple of weeks? Yeah, it's been awesome. I, I've, I've spent a lot of time uh, studying BC, learning about BC. You know, like you said, I knew a little bit about it. My wife went here. And I had an idea about BC uh, before I got here. But until you actually work here and you're here, you don't really know. And so I think over the last two months, I've been able to understand that, that this is a place where, you know, we, we can play really good football. We can get an unbelievable degree in the city of Boston. And we can give back to the community. You know, these kids do so much in the community uh, of all the sports. You know, everything that they work at, whether it's the food pantry or the campus school or the YMCA or the elementary schools that we go read to. This is an incredible place. And, and you know, parents um, that come here and watch us practice or, you know, come here and tour the campus and meet everybody on campus, meet our coaching staff, they're very, very impressed. And they should be because this is an impressive place. Boston College is a, a place that's, in my opinion, second to none. This is a fantastic place to go to school and play football. And hopefully we can show people that as we move forward. Got time for one more? When you have a quarterback like Thomas Castellanos, who obviously has that escapability. Yeah. Um, what's it like working with him of when to use that, when to hang in the pocket and get to a second or third read? Like, what's that balance and, and how, where is he right now in that progress? I think he's getting better. I think he's a very instinctive guy. Um, so it's also the process of learning our system, which he's really, you know, he's, he's done a really good job of learning our system. And so as you learn the system and you know what the play is and you know how to execute the play, you know what the play looks like, then a lot of times your instincts can take over. And I see that out at practice. You know, you saw that at the end a little bit with some of the scrambles that he made. So, I, I, you know, we're not going to rein Tommy in. We want Tommy to be Tommy, be the best version of Tommy. And I think he's having a really good spring. I've been very impressed with how he plays the game. Thank you, Thank you guys. Good. Thank you. Yeah.